Unraveling the Mystery of Wrist Wrap. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to our channel, the home of English language exploration. Today, we're going to unveil the meaning and use of the term wrist wrap. This phrase might wrap itself around your mind in confusion, but fear not. By the end of this video, you'll be able to use it like a pro. So, let's unwrap this expression together. Before we dive into the phrase, wrist wrap, let's take a moment to understand the word, wrist. Your wrist is the joint that connects your hand to your forearm. It's a small but essential part of the body that allows us to move our hands in various ways. Remember, wrist is both singular and plural. It can mean one or both of the joints. Moving on to wrap. As a verb, it means to cover or enclose something, usually in a material like paper or fabric. As a noun, which we're focusing on, it refers to the material used for wrapping. It can be anything from a piece of cloth to a bandage. It's all about the context in which it's used. Now, let's put both words together. A wrist wrap is a strip of cloth or a bandage that's used for supporting the wrist joint. It's commonly used in sports and physical activities to prevent injuries or to help in the healing process of a previous injury. Athletes, gymnasts, and weightlifters often use wrist wraps to stabilize their wrists. When can you use this phrase? You might talk about a wrist wrap when discussing exercises, health tips, or even fashion accessories. Yes, wrist wraps can be stylish too. So, if someone says, I need to buy a wrist wrap for my gym sessions, they're looking for support during their workout. Are there other types of wraps? Absolutely. You might come across knee wraps, ankle wraps, and even head wraps. Each type of wrap is designed to support a specific body part. So, the term wrap can be quite versatile. There you have it. You're now familiar with the phrase wrist wrap and can confidently use it in your daily conversations, especially if you're talking about sports or physical health. We hope this video has enlightened and empowered you in your English language journey. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more English language tips. See you in the next video, and remember, keep those wrists supported.